Hi, my name is Pearl and I'm a senior climate risk modeler at Cillian. And this is my smashing stereotype story. My background is in atmospheric science. So atmospheric science is looking at natural things in the world and answering the questions of why does that happen? Why are you know the sunsets red and why is the sky blue? The first thing that inspired me to do this was at the time my family we used to go on very long drives in the vast wilderness of Canada. And when we used to go on these drives, I'd have all of those questions of why are the trees a certain way? Why, you know, does a waterfall cut through the rocks in a certain way? I didn't know then that there was a very scientific approach to answering these questions. So I grew up doing a lot of like robotics. I was one of the only girls in my school's tech lab and I was working on a project and I was working on a band saw. My friends came over and she told me, ah, this is the closest you're ever gonna get to like sewing things. It's such a dichotomy if you think that there are these very gendered ideas of what's going to look like STEM and engineering and science. I think it took me a while to grow into the idea of, I can be someone who loves science and someone who loves using a bandsaw and a sewing machine. What climate risk modeling does is basically looks at these things and tries to see what are the real threats and its natural progression into things like climate change and how our weather systems and climate science can tell you more about what's happening with the world, especially in climate change. The thing I love most about this job is the fact that I get to work in something like climate change and pushing that change forward even when people aren't approaching it in the same way that I am. The fact that I'm able to take this issue and put it into a real world application, being able to package it in a way that other people can resonate with, I think is the most rewarding. We need to move away from that outdated idea of STEM is just mathematics or engineering. Because with my experience, what got me ahead in my field was I was curious about geography. I was curious about policy and politics. It really is whatever you are most passionate about that you can have a scientific approach to solving. <laughs>